So Paul, let's look back at Saturday's game against Inverness. First, a 3-1 victory to start the league season off in fine form, carrying on a Betfair Cup um, group stage work as well. So a positive start to your time here at East End Park. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a, an important victory on Saturday to get off to a good start. Um, going 1-0 down so early in the game as well wasn't ideal, but uh, you know I thought we responded very well to that. And, you know, we showed, like I said, a great response and, and done very well to win the game. When you look at that goal that we've conceded the first time that we've had that breach this season, but yeah. it, the manager said after the game, when you look at the, the ball in from the, the young lad, Daniel Mackay, it, it just seemed to um, really weigh on a plate for Nikolai Todorov. Would you say it's one of those goals where you just have to, to stand up and, and, and say it was a great delivery? Yeah, it was a fantastic ball in. Um, you know, I, I feel myself I should have dealt with it a bit better. Uh, Maybe caught me a bit flat-footed, being so early on in the game. But uh, yeah, like I said, we've not been behind in a game yet this season. So such a, so early, such early on in the game as well. I thought the, the response from the group—it was a very calm. You know, no one panicked. It was a very calm response, and uh, you know, we, we built ourselves into the game. And then come second half, I thought we were, we were very strong. And we could actually win the game by a few more goals. Obviously, Ewan Murray's getting headlines at the minute with, with the amount of goals he's getting, but when you look at that second goal and the part that you played in it, um, do you almost feel that with maybe all the attention on Ewan Murray that it allowed you just to peel round the back and, and help set up the, the, the goal for Ryan Down? Maybe, yeah. Um, you know, Muzzy's he's doing brilliant at the minute, not just with his goal scoring, but he's defending as well. You know, he's, he's been a, re a real leader. Um, but yeah, with the quality delivery that we've got going in, it it's, it's makes it easier for us, you know, and long may that continue, really. When you look at the game on Saturday away to Aula, it's, it's, it's a game where, especially with the shortened season, we do need to carry on this momentum and, and continue the good start that we've got on, but we know how difficult it's going to be. Is it just about keeping our composure and just taking it a game at a time? Yeah, that's it. You don't want to get carried away and look too far ahead. You know, all our focus in the dressing room just now is on Aloha. Um, and we're to be training at the minute as well, so that can only help us getting used to the surface and stuff. So, um, you know, we're going into the game against Aloha full of confidence, and it, it won't be easy. You know, it's a difficult venue to go to, but like I said, by training there every day, it's got to be, be beneficial to us. When you look at the, the spine of the team, um, guys like yourself and you and Murray, um, Owen from Williams and Goals, Steve Whitaker, Declan McManus, the spine of that team experienced had success in this league or, or higher divisions. Is that crucial to a successful campaign this year, do you think? I think so, yeah. Um, we've got a, a great blend in the squad with uh, experience and youth and I think it is a good mixture we've got and if our, the older ones, if we can you want to call them more experienced, help the young ones out, then you know that's exactly what we're going to do. But I think all over the pitch we've got quality, and uh, even you know you seen on the bench we've got quality come on as well. Uh, so that's only going to help us. And competition for places in the squad as well is it's, it's good, it's healthy, and that can only drive everyone on. Um, when you look at um, the fan support on Saturday, I know that they weren't here um, physically, but when they were tuning in online, there was. Um, over 1,600 fans that have tuned in, so that's a big um, number for, for, for watching the game live and, and, and experiencing it in a totally different scenario. Yeah, it must be, it's, I must say, personally, you know, it's, it's very unique and strange playing the games with no fans, uh, even just running out the tunnel to silence pretty much, it's, it's bizarre, but you know, you just have to adapt and I'm sure the fans are very frustrated as well, not, not being able to be here, but as long as they, you know, they can get to watch on the telly and hopefully they can shout at us through the telly. 